I mean, no one's going to see it, but I'll know it's there. And ow, oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my new rocker panels have just arrived. Let's open the box and see if they're going to fit. Quick first look at the box, they appear to be correct. There's a sort of slash line along the middle, which is this. And obviously you do need to cut them to size, but uh, this is the left, this is the right. So what we'll do is I'll open the doors, do some sort of mock up with this one and see how much I'm going to have to trim and where I'm going to join it, whether it be in there as in cut this whole section off or or have this going all the way up but i've got a feeling i'm going to be cutting this section off anyway let me do a mock up right i can't do a mock up until i remove these because these are going to have to kind of do this sort of motion to get in there and they're in the i'd need to take these off anyway right let me whip that off That wasn't too bad considering because these bolts go in from the back and they kind of come through here and they live in there so it's a bit uh, rusty inside so th those two came out those two came out unfortunately i did manage to snap one of them but as you can see they're pretty crusty so i'll probably replace them because they've been weakened Good thing is though when i cut this section off i'll have access to the inside where these bolt in so i'll be able to grind off whatever was holding that broken one in and weld on a new nut and then i can get new bolts to screw through right let's move this out of the way and see if we can slide that panel into place somehow Awesome. Just just glue it on. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a closer look. Pretty happy with the fit, to be honest. Now, I can't decide whether to bring this over this way a bit more and then use the little flange tool to just bend that and get it underneath there or just cut it down here on the, the original sill rocker panel and just tack it down there. Or I could use the, hmm, I could overlap it, use a hole punch and spot weld it there. Because I'm, I'm intending to spot weld it all along the top here. And spot weld it in the underneath. As you can see there, obviously that needs to come down a little bit. But even at that, it's a pretty nice fit. Very nice. Now, the back end... I'm going to have to plan this out. I'm not sure what to do here. This obviously is designed to stop where it starts curving up. So I could cut into the original body there and then seam weld that on because it is quite rusty under there, but it only goes that far. So that's actually quite lucky, at least for this side. There is some bubbles there, so I'm going to have to get rid of all that and put on some 
rust preventing treatment there. I think this has to go forward that way another inch to be honest because I noticed or you might have noticed under there it wasn't meeting up with the lower lip all the way. Right, lots to calculate. Let me think about that and I'll be back shortly. So I thought I should remove the, the fender trim to give me a bit more access. I wish I hadn't. I've just given myself more work. Crunchy badness. You can see it extends all the way over to there. That's going to require a patch because I'm not replacing this whole panel. Oh well. I mean, no one's going to see it, but I'll know it's there. And Ow! Oh, that was dumb. Oh, more crunchy badness. I'm going to keep this edge so at least I know where I've to patch it to. Stop. Tell me to stop. Oh. Anyway, that didn't really give me any more access than I already had. Because I would need to take the whole thing completely off. It was more for, like, cutting and grinding in this bit here. Anyway, I'll try moving the, the panel forward a bit and see if it makes any difference to what's happening at the back. So we are further forward by about an inch and it doesn't really make much difference to be honest. And at the front, I'm not really gaining anything. I think I'll just put it back to where it was and cut into the, the, the original rocker in by about five mil up there and then all the way along this ridge here to approximately probably about there and then down. I can always cut more but it's easier to cut more than have to reattach what you've stripped off but as I said behind that's all rusty. That'll be getting chopped but one bit at a time. So let's get this panel off. Start getting the garbage out. Oh the tricky bit's going to be getting the underside off. Ugh, I'll show you that when I've got the panel off. Okay, folks, here's the plan. I'm going to cut up there, not on the line. I'm going to come in about five mil in from this line. And then I'm going to cut all the way along that edge. All the way in a perfectly straight line. Mm, yummy. Oh, nice. Yum. Oh, right, stop. And then I'm going to cut along here, but not all the way. This is this is an outline of where the metal from the new panel is, but I'm not going to cut all the way. I'll cut along, maybe down a bit there. And again, probably about five mil lower. Uh, I can always cut more up. I can't add more. Well, I can't, could add more, but that would be silly. And for the underside, what I was talking about, you can see all these little spot welds. So where that lip, let me get down there, hold on. Where the, the lip from the new cell, it meets another lip. There. So I need to separate this all the way along. I might actually do that first before I cut the top so that it doesn't like put stress on this and bend that when I'm trying to separate it. Now, I think I might have the right tool to do this. Meanwhile, I just I just can't help myself. It's just it's like bursting those packaging bubbles you get so satisfying. Good thing is that the rust only really goes up to the very top there where where it curls around and goes flat is actually good enough that I'll be able to weld onto which is kind of lucky oh my god it was really bad check this out ok I'm getting carried away right, what was I doing? oh yeah perfect tool this is my Mastercraft air tool kit that I very rarely use and this, I believe, is the impact hammer thing. So what I do is, this springy thing here screws on there. And then you insert uh, this thing here. Wow, it's, it's never been out, it's really stiff. That's a sort of impact chisel thing. So that goes in the end there, and you go da 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 da, and hopefully it'll separate that lip. At least I've seen it on TV, and that's how they do it. So I will give that a shot. I think it goes in the underside of that spring. 
Tell you what, I'll look up the YouTubes, see how they do it before I do anything really silly. So, I checked online, it's not rocket surgery. Basically, you press the trigger and it goes in and out like that and creates havoc. Now, it's very loud, very messy, so I'll need to get all sorts of gear on my face. A uh, couple of cuts I need to make first. I'm going to cut about there down. The metal beyond that's not bad. That's the extent of my new rocker panel, remember? So I can't obviously cut even all the way up to that, but about an inch should do. I'm gonna cut straight down there. The reason I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut all the way down here is because if you see these spot welds, they stop there. If I start chiseling between, it's gonna try and separate beyond that. And I don't want to do that. So as I say, I'm gonna cut just into that. If I cut all the way through into the other lip, that's fine. I can weld that up before I weld on the new panel. So let me cut there. And also the bit at the front, I think I'll cut as well. And as I said, I'm gonna cut about, let's go with a centimeter in from that line, just to give me plenty of room. And again, all the way down and under to make sure that when I start chiseling this, to separate it, it does in fact separate it and it doesn't foul up in the corners. Right, noisy time. I think I just found my new favourite tool. So I've still got a fair bit of cleaning up to do and I've got a couple of holes I need to patch. There's one there. I can just put a, a big square plate around that. It's That steel is a, a bit thicker than the, the rocker panel steel so I should be able to weld something. No one's ever going to see it so as long as it's structurally sound. There's a nasty one there. I have to put a decent plate across that, so I'm going to have to chop. It's really just just the bit that's missing is the the really bad bit. So I will probably just trim that around there, weld on a plate there, again clean it all up. The front's fine, just a bit of surface rust. So let's see, wire brush I think. Before I do that though, and start exposing fresh metal, I'm going to nip round to Canadian Tire or some auto body specialist and get some rust converter and maybe just some primer just to make sure it doesn't instantly re-rust so i'll be back shortly nice night for a wee driving bugsy see you soon Not the best weather for grinding, welding and painting. That's okay. There's other stuff we can be getting on with. 
Let's get this side step all nice and <clears throat> unrustified. Good thing is these brackets are actually really solid, so it's just mostly paint and a bit of surface rust. So I will be removing them, hopefully not destroying these six bolts. Rub them down, give them a fresh coat of paint. Clean this up, put it all back together again, ready for reinstall. So I'm going to wait for that stuff to dry completely, might give it another coat, it does say build it up, uh, thin layers are better than a thick layer, we'll see how that looks like, as you saw they're pretty rough, so my plan is once they're dry I'm going to spray them with rock guard or under seal as you guys call it in the UK, and that will make them look perfect, it will hide all those pits, meanwhile The rain's not gone off, in fact it's done the opposite. It's really frustrating because it's actually quite warm, I've got a t-shirt on and I'm not shivering. So if it wasn't for the rain it would be perfect for actually applying paint out there. Hopefully it's not going to get too cold in the next couple of weeks. I've got to get this done before the snow comes or I'm never getting it done. The truck does not fit in the garage. Might fit in and with a very tight squeeze if I really need to get some paint done. So worst case scenario, or oh, I might need to get a big tarpaulin or something. Either way, it's got to get done because the truck's got to get sold. Anyway, we will we'll, uh, carry on. I've still got other stuff I can be doing on the inside, like trimming that new panel down. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all my... I have no idea what that was. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members. Much appreciated. If you want to know what that's about, click on the link. Oh, and by the way, apparently you're supposed to hit the like button to spread the word. Take care. See you soon. Paint in my hand. Bye.